Hello everyone, this tutorial is the fourth installment in the series of fully parametric kitchen cabinets design. In this video, I have created a fully parametric design of another type of drawer which is used in the kitchens. The links to the previous three videos are given below in the description box. As you can see here that you can open and close this drawer and as well as change its height, width, depth and sheet thickness. The purpose of this series is that you can learn to create your own customized family of kitchen cabinets and drawers. But before we continue with the video, I want all of you I want to remind all of you to give your feedback in the comments and like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel to have timely updates. Also you can ask me any query or question in the comments below or you can email me as well. So now let's start. In the part 2 I have created this family template file. The link is given in the description box. Create another copy of this template file so that uh, the original file is not destroyed and you can create uh, the design of the drawer in the in this other file select extrusion in the create tab select rectangle from here and draw a rectangle like this lock both of these sides and give it an offset of 1 inches from this reference plane after creating the extrusion go to the reference level floor plan Drag this arrow to meet this reference plane, then lock this down and put this on this reference plane as well. Then select void extrusion, set the reference plane to this top plane and then draw an other rectangle like this. Lock this side. Place dimensions like this. Then select all three of these dimensions and give them the parameter of shape thickness. Then give it an extrusion and of shape thickness. Click OK. If you go to 3D, it will look like this. And then go to the front elevation and give it an equal dimension so now if you change the shape thickness then the, the, all of the other dimensions of the drawer will adjust itself then select sweep from the create tab set the reference plane to this surface go to the right elevation and draw the path to create the sweep then go to the reference level floor plan and lock these dimensions like this select this blue dot here and then select this line and then click on this lock then click ok click on edit profile and draw a circle like this click ok and now the design has been created now repeat the same exact process on this left side of the drawer as well so that you have the same exact design on the other side
now select all of this complete design go to the front elevation and copy paste it like this now we have four parts like this but for example if you want to create three parts only then delete these existing reference planes and draw another two reference planes like this and then make them equal Select and move this design to this part. After that, click this equal dimension and then place this dimension as well and then make it equal. Now select it again and then copy paste it on, the, on this point and another one below this point like this in the right elevation align this extrusion with the reference plane and then lock this down so that this extrusion moves along with these reference planes also place equal dimensions like this at this part and the other part as well select extrusion set the reference plane to this surface and then draw a rectangle like this the rectangle should not touch any reference plane then select this measure command and like this make them all make all the four sides equal The drawer design is now complete. It is now time to place the handle. Okay, before, before that, remember to align this extrusion with these reference planes as well. Import the family of handle which we have created in the previous part of our tutorial and then lock it down with this reference plane. Then go to the front elevation and place it at the dimension uh, which at which you want it. I'm going to create another reference plane for this, and then I'm going to place it with the help of the align command. Now open the file of kitchen cabinets which we have created in the part 1 of this series. The link is given in the description box. And then load this newly created family file in this, in this file. Rotate it with the help of the space button on keyboard. Select it. Then provide the parameter like this so that the parameters of the drawer design is compatible with this kitchen cabinets parameters 
lock it down with this align command along with the reference plane in the placement side elevation select this reference plane and then this reference plane and then lock it down with the help of the align command and you can see that the uh, draw has been successfully placed at its position and now you can change its parameters and uh, values to see if it is working correctly and you can see that you can easily change any of its dimension and you can either open and close it and it will automatically adjust itself the reason this draw which we have just played has not moved is because we have not uh, provide parameters to these values so provide them these parameters of the kitchen cabinets file so that they are compatible with the other drawers which are which have been placed previously in the part 3 of this video So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. I will meet you guys in the next video, which would be the, which would be the fifth installment of this series. So till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials.